with that let's move on and continue to uh, take forward our result analysis as well and start with insecticides india the agrochemicals player delivered a good operational performance in the third quarter with margin growing by 60 basis points on a year on year basis uh, the management had told us earlier that they uh, hope to achieve 25% growth uh, on the back of capex and also expects exports to contribute more to its revenues what was the analysis this quarter let's get in the management and we have rajesh agrawal the managing director of the company joining us now mr agrawal good afternoon thank you so much for joining us uh, can you tell us uh, in quarter 3 what was the contribution that came in from exports because you expected a good contribution this year uh, export revenue was expected at 130 150 crore rupees in fy23 and you on target to achieve that uh, the company performance is going good actually. We uh, at Chopanji we have completed the expansion and it has started showing the result and we are decently going to launch a few new products out of our technical plants. There will be two new AIs which will be launched from the Rajasthan plant and we will be launching at least three products during this quarter. But this is not a major quarter for sales. So the numbers will be visible and you will find the growth in Q4 also for the company and it will be a single uh, uh, like a uh, 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 double digit growth i can say both on the top line as well as the bottom line but the real growth will be visible in the uh, next year only so in the gujarat also will be completing this project by the uh, end of this year which means by march we should be able to complete our expansion in gujarat also and uh, from q1 itself the full result will be visible uh, so, uh, Mr. Agarwal, when you say Q4 revenues will be in double digit, are we looking at a 10 to 15 percent type of growth, 15 to 20 percent or even more? And what could you end the year with, FI23, in terms of a top line? Like there should be uh, around 15 percent plus minus growth in this quarter, which okay. will end up uh, with uh, about 20 percent plus type of growth in totality for the company. Okay, 20% growth in FY23. So you had got it for 25% earlier. Uh, so it will be plus minus that. What about uh, exports? I had asked you that question earlier because you did say that this is one segment will start contributing more. Uh, 150 crore rupees this year, is that possible? Uh, it's looked, it looks a little difficult actually because this year we have uh, find a lot of exchange pressure because the uh, insurance company uh, has uh, re-rated many countries and uh, the countries are finding it very difficult to uh, give us the dollars. Many of the customers along the uh, in Africa, in Middle East, also in Latam are facing this problem of currency. So we are not able to uh, execute the order despite of having the orders in hand. So little so, slow. So, this so what will the export number? Yes, what will the export uh, number be? Uh, it can be in the range of 110 to 115 crores. 110 to 150. Okay. Okay. You uh, are very optimistic about things improving in Q1 of FI24. You've got three new products which you're launching in the current quarter. What could the numbers then look like on the domestic side and even on the export side? And what would be the big triggers for you? The key things to watch. The key things will be the launch of the with the launch of the that both our B2B and B2C sales, uh, sales are going to take a rise. In the export front, though, it will start moving slowly. So I cannot declare like what uh, the export is going to look like in Q1, but definitely it will also have the jump. So I can say all the three businesses of the company, B2B, B2C, and the export business will grow so next year a target of 25% growth. Okay, 25% there. I just wanted to uh, do a follow-up on your Gujarat plan. Is it the Dahej plan that you're talking about? And it was expected to be commissioned in quarter three. So you're saying that has been delayed and it will happen by the end of this year? Yes. Okay, so Dahej what plan led to the... March, and, uh, it was uh, Raja, yeah, yes, okay, please. so it was the Dahej plan was supposed to be commissioned in quarter three. Now it will get commissioned in quarter four. Yes. Okay. So uh, what will FY24 growth look like in that case? Because you must have penciled in some revenues or some uh, margins coming in from this particular project as well, right? Uh, yeah, definitely. Basically, we are targeting a 25% growth for the next year again. So 24%, FY24 uh, uh, will again target 25% growth. Uh, on exports, what is the visibility on this exchange-related issue You know, getting resolved? Or is it uh, some sort of a slowdown which could keep exports subdued for you? Uh, yes, for the, this year we, have, it, uh, we were forced to be subdued, but for next year we are trying to form various strategies wherein we are also looking to make, make one branch at Dubai. So that will also help us and uh, uh, definitely we are trying to find out the ways 
how we can uh, come out of this problem actually so the team is working and they are quite confident that next year we should be able to surpass the numbers actually of exports whatever we could not do this year we will be able to double our exports in the next year all right uh, mr agrawal thank you so much for joining us and giving us all those details so that's the word coming in from insecticides india uh, the numbers were good in quarter 3 however the stock is lower for uh, two reasons one that the h plant commissioning has been delayed to quarter 4 and exports the target of 150 crore rupees may be the company will not be able to meet that in fy23 slip into a short break up next we'll connect with anand agrawal